Let's do question four. Um, question four says that a ball of mass 50 gram is thrown vertically downwards with a kinetic energy of 2704 joules from a point P above the ground as shown below. At the same instant, a second um, identical ball Y is drawn from a point Q which is located below point P. Ball Y strikes the ground with a velocity of 19.6 meters per second uh, both balls hit the ground at the same time ignore the effects of friction and take down as <laughs> take down what direction as positive okay fine uh, 4.1 says define the term free fall uh, free fall is the motion of an object when the only force acting is gravitational force the motion of an object when the only force acting is gravitational force and now we can move to 4.2 uh, so we're taking down as positive right uh, we are instructed to do so i uh, usually take up as positive but hey uh, 4.2 says calculate the time taken for ball y uh, to reach the ground so let's pay our attention to ball y uh, we are told that at the same instant a second identical ball y is dropped from a point q so if it's dropped we know fully well that vi is equals to zero meters per second and then it goes on to say ball y strikes the ground with a velocity of 19.6 meters uh, per second so vf is equals to 19.6 meter per second right uh so we have uh, vf uh we have vi uh we always have acceleration and we need delta t right the time t again to reach the ground now the question you ask yourself which formula has all these four variables clearly that is vf is equals to vi plus a delta t uh what is vf vf is 19.6 at uh, the velocity at which it strikes the ground uh what is vi it was dropped every time when a ball is dropped is velocity initial will be zero and then plus uh 9.8 because we take in downward as positive multiply by delta t so basically we divide in both sides by 9.8 9.8 so 19.6 divided by 9.8 uh that is two so we have uh, delta t uh, being equals to uh, two seconds right and then that's it for 4.2 now 4.3 says calculate the speed uh, with which ball x strikes the ground so let's take our attention uh, to ball x for ball x um, we are asked to find uh, vf right uh, the speed at which it strikes the ground so that's what we're looking for uh, we can find vi uh, because we are given the kinetic energy right so we are told that uh, ek is equals to 2.704 joules and then vf is our unknown uh, we have the acceleration obviously because we always do and then we are told that the ball hits the ground, the, the two balls hit the ground at the same time, right? So we also have delta t. So obviously here we're going to say vf is equal to vi plus a delta t. But before that, uh, we need to determine vi, right? So how are we going to determine vi? We're going to say that ek is equal to half mv squared. And then we know that ek is 2.704 which is equals to half uh, the mass the mass is 50 divided by a thousand right uh, v squared so dividing both sides by uh, this expression here uh, we're gonna get uh, 2.704 divided by half uh, 50 divided by a thousand and then now we can take uh, the square root on both sides right so then we take a square root here we take a square root and you will end up getting uh, a velocity of uh, 10.4 meter per second and then uh, we know that it's supposed to be going down right and then 
So now we have our VI and we can go on and determine VF. So VF is equals to VI plus A delta T. Uh, what is VF is our unknown, right? Uh, but we know now that VI uh, is 10.4. Acceleration is 9.8 because we're taking down is positive and the time is two seconds. So we basically have 10.4 uh, plus 19.6, uh, which is gonna give you 30 uh, meters uh, per second. Uh, so where do we go from here? 30 meters per second down what? Uh, we are only interested in the speed, so we don't have to give the direction, but it doesn't hurt doing so. 4.4 says on the same set of axis, sketch the velocity time graph uh, for the entire motion of both x and y. Uh, so we need velocity time graph. So our velocity is on the y and then our time as usual is on our x. So we have velocity here in meters per second and then we have the time in seconds. Uh, let's pay our attention to ball y first. Uh, ball y starts at uh, zero meters per second when it gets dropped right and it goes up to 19.6 so for ball y um, uh, how much time does it take it takes two seconds right so we can put two here so ball y uh, ends up here so now we can have our vt graph for ball y the line supposed to be straight and then now let's I put our attention to ball x. Ball x starts at 10.4, so somewhere here, right? Uh, so it's starting at 10.4, that's the vi, and then it goes up to 30 uh, meters per second, so it's ending up somewhere here. So if we would sketch a graph for ball y, uh, we'd have something like this. Uh, the two lines have to be parallel, right? And then uh yeah they have to be um they have to all be at two right uh with regards to uh, the time so that's uh the vt graph you would get uh you would label that this is uh your x and this is your y